Hi, everybody. It's Rachel with Rachel Super Cute Creations. I am going to use some lunch bags today to make some little scrappy journals. So um, grab some lunch bags, grab some scraps of paper, and we are going to make some cute, cute little journals. So I am just sharing this to my page. So give me one second here, guys and we will get started. Okay, so this can be used with just plain lunch bags. Um, and I've already folded three and have them ready, but I wanna make about 10 of these little mini journals. So what you need to do is just take your lunch bags and you can use any adhesive you want. I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac just because it it dries fast. You can use um, you can use hot glue. You can use a glue stick. You can use a variety of things. Okay, and once you do that, you're going to take and I just run my bone folder down this edge and fold it. You want to fold it really well. If you don't have a bone folder, grab a um, ruler or something with a straight edge and then you want to line it up with the edge over here all right so we're just going to do a few of these real quick um just so you can kind of get the hang of it and plus i want to get them all piled up over here so i hope everybody's having a great sunday um sorry i'm on a little later than normal i um, went up and visited my parents this weekend and so we got back and then of course uh Oh, here we go, making a mess. You know me, guys. I can't do this without ever making a mess. Let me grab my baby wipes here. Okay. Um, so we got back, and then by the time I got my house in order and ready to go and ran to the grocery store and did all that fun stuff, um, I couldn't believe what time it was. Hi, Martha. Welcome from Texas. I am here in Michigan, and it is freezing cold here. So I like to do things in batches. Um, so I have five so far. So I usually make things in fives or tens if I'm doing smaller projects. Um, but, you know, you could certainly just do one. And the reason why I do that, I like to mass produce. Now, these are small enough. And depending on how thick you make them and how much you embellish them, um, sorry for the noise, um, will determine on how thick they are. These little mini journals are great to tuck into your other junk journals or your art journals. These are great to tuck into your purse, into a pocket. They're fun to give grandkids or nieces or nephews that see your cool journals and they want to they want to do it. Oh, awesome, Luann. Hey, I appreciate it. Luann sent me a message, you guys, a little while ago, and she said, are you going to be on today? And I said, yes, it's just going to be a little bit later. So welcome, Luann. I'm so happy you're on, and I hope this will give you some in inspiration. Um, so this is a cheap project to do also. So if you don't have lunch bags at home, um, if you have bags from takeout, you can do this. If you have... Um, if you run to your dollar store or your Walmart or whatever, you can get a package of bags really, really cheap. And you will love these journals. I mean, they just are so fun. I'm almost there, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and do all these. So um, what are you all working on? These I'm, I want to make these fall inspired. So I have my fingers crossed. I just sent my daughter, Hallie, out. Um, she just got her first job. And she had to go get some um, work clothes. And um, I meant to stop at Target today. Target has these really cool fall stamps. I'm, I mean, not stamps, stickers, excuse me. All right, let me glue these last couple and then we'll. Um, and they're like a whole bucket of them for five bucks. And so I want them for something else because um, most of you know I'm a principal, and so 
I've been trying to do something fun for my staff as much as possible um, because these are crazy times as educators. I know as parents, it's crazy too, um, but as an educator for over 20 years, I have to say nobody ever prepared us for this. So uh, as a principal, I'm trying really hard to just keep my staff motivated and give them little surprises. And so I have these cute little tea bags and I wanted to put these little false stickers on top of them. So, um, but I'm hoping we can use some of them on these junk journals too, because it is fall. Um, our leaves here in Michigan are turning already. I cannot believe it. Um, I, I do know it's September. So I know Luann's probably going, Rachel, it's September. You know, our leaves do change here in Michigan. I just don't know where our summer went. Um, COVID-19 has just totally not allowed me to have a summer. And before we know it here in Michigan, it is going to be flu season and full of snow because that's what we get here. So. Anyway, so what are you working on? Luann, are you working on anything? I know you said you need um, some inspiration. All right, so, okay. So I have my covers for my 10 little journals. And your front cover is gonna be where this little pocket is, okay? So I just like to stack them up. Um, and I like to put just a binder clip on them because um, they're very thick and they are a little bit difficult to keep shut at the, at start. So we just want to make sure we're, let me just flip this. Okay. All right. So I'm going to keep a couple out. We'll keep three out and I'm going to binder clip the rest of these. Fall's your favorite time of year. I love it too. Oh, a garden planning journal. I love that idea. These would be fun um, to include in your garden planning journal. All right. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is I'm gonna grab some scrapbook paper. Um, and I have this recollections, it's very thin paper, but I kinda wanna stick with a fall theme. We did those beautiful fall um, pieces last week. So I'm just going to pull out some fallish paper. I don't know if fallish is a word, but just made it a word. All right, let's see what we got going here. All right. And you could do Halloween, little mini Halloween journals if you love Halloween. Um, I don't, I, I like Halloween, but I don't like to make Halloween projects. I'm more of a make a fall project type of gal. So I like this. So I'm just grabbing just some random papers here that look kind of like fall. Um, I got this maybe. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is grab my paper cutter, um, and you can totally use scraps. I'm just going to, I just have these, I've had this paper for a long time, and I want to use it up. All right, so So my first strip is going to be three inches wide. And yes, I'm cutting through them all at one time. Okay, so my first strip is three inches wide and I need them to be four and three quarters. So make sure you line them up. So I'm just going to make a pile of those first. So three inches by four and three quarters. And I will save these little pieces right here. So there's my first pile. 
My next pile needs to be three and a quarter. So you might want to write this down. Oh my goodness, Rachel, hold your papers tight. There we go. So this first strip was three inches. Second strip is three and a quarter. I'm lining it up, cutting my strips. Okay, and this one's gonna be by four and three quarters. Again, so four and a quarter by four and three quarters. So first strip three by four and three quarters, second strip three and a quarter by four and three quarters. Let's hope this is right for my bag, fingers crossed. I probably should have measured. I haven't made these in a while. So these were just my little scrappy notes from a while ago. Okay, so let's see how they work here. My fingers here work. Oh yeah. So that one works there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to start gluing these down. Oops, sorry for the noise. Just going to start gluing these down. And if you use heavier cardstock, it's going to, you know, stiffen your book up a little bit more than what I have. Um, but I'm, this is more like a copy weight. And we're going to do some layering and things. I need to use up this Dollar Tree um, glue stick. So I'm going to use it. It's not my favorite. Um, I'm going to tell you that right now, but I had it for another project and I want to use it up. So, all right. And you do want to burnish this down really well. And now that I pulled it up, we're going to have problems here. Like I said, I don't love this glue stick and you can use whatever you want. Okay, so, and I'm just going to use random oh, this needs to be trimmed just a little bit. Sorry guys. Oh, that's pinking shears. Just taking a sliver off this one. It's a little too big. So is anybody doing any fall crafts or fall projects? I need to get the rest of my fall home decorations out haven't done that yet. Okay, so we covered that side. You can see this is sticking over a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and trim it. I probably should have used the other one on here, but I didn't, so live and learn. Okay, okay. So this is the one that's gonna fold in. So I'm gonna use one of the three inch strips right here. And we're gonna get that all covered up. And I did cut this bag, so I will have to, I'll probably sew this one um, on my sewing machine just to close this up. Because see, when I trimmed, the, trimmed that off, I caught the bag. Or what I could do is I could just put some glue in here, which I might do that. I still might sew it later, but 
I just want to make sure it's sealed up good. Eight of us are meeting in Unionville to make fall crafts. Each brings enough supplies for everybody. Oh my gosh, that sounds so fun. I love those kind of meetups. Okay, I think we're going to do this little polka dot right here. I'm hoping to work on a fall journal this weekend. Awesome. Well, maybe, Martha, this will inspire you to do, even if you do this as a little stuffy, to stuff inside a little pocket, you could make one of these fun little mini journals to go inside. Because you can really dress them up. Um, I've done them with just book paper on them, too. Okay, we need to do something back here. So I think we'll do... We'll do this one. Okay. We're almost there, you guys. All right. And what color should we do on the inside here? You know what, I think I'll do the navy. Um, well, maybe I won't. I think I'll do the orange stripe. How's that? Okay. And I do like to lift this up right here. And I like to put a little bit of glue because um, I don't like that gusset to open on mine, but you can do whatever you want. If you don't, if that doesn't bother you, you don't have to worry about that. You can leave it. I just don't like my gusset to open up. So, all right. So we've now covered our little cutesy tootsie fall journal so we have a cover there's a pocket right here for you to slip some fun stuff in we're going to put our pages in here and this will of course fold over so we'll have like a little flap actually i'm sorry we're going to put the journal right here this will close and keep that closed and then you'll have this all right so Let's do one more real quick since I have this glue stick out and I want to get these pages down. That way we can just, so I like to work on things in batches, as I said, you guys. So my, we talk about, you know, how do you get so much done? And everybody always asks me that. I get so much done because I work in batches. And so I, um, this week will be working on these 10 journals. And these 10 journals will be my focus. So you see, I've already got all the covers today, Sunday. So I've worked on all the covers already. And I will continue to use up, you know, these papers. And so, yeah, are some of them the same? Absolutely. But that's okay because you can give them to a friend. You can, even though I'm using my base papers, I can change things up depending on how I decide to embellish them. So there's lots of things I can do to these cute little journals. Let's put this brown. I love this brown polka dot. I don't know why, but I just think it's so cute. It's a great way to use up scraps. If you have an entire bin of scraps, this is your project. This is Scrappy Sunday. So get those scraps out. Grab some lunch bags. If you don't have lunch bags, you guys, just cut a piece of... Um, Cut a piece of paper. Give me one second. I'm so sorry. My daughter is calling. Hello? 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 Yes. 
it, I need you to go to Target. Okay, I'll send it right now. All right, bye. So sorry, you guys. If you have teenagers, you know exactly what it's like. She's uh, supposed to be helping me here. And uh, give me just one second. <laughs> Anybody else have kids? Raise your hands if you have kids, please. Everybody's quiet tonight. Okay, sorry about that again. I sent her on an errand and I always panic when she calls. She doesn't call very often. So I'm always afraid. Like she just got her driver's license in July. And so I don't know that that worried mom always when that phone comes up with her number on it and she's out in her vehicle. I just panic. So sorry about that. Okay. So where was I? Oh, working in batches. So what I typically do is I will work and use up all of the scraps of one kind. And then go on to the next piece. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this one. Anyway, so hopefully she will come home with these, these little fall stickers and I can show them to you from Target. Um, they are so cute. And they are going to be perfect for all of our little fall projects that we have. And they're cheap. They're only supposed to be $5 for a bucket. So let's Fingers crossed, you guys, she's going to come home in the next 15, 20 minutes with those and we can use them to embellish these cute journals. All right. So there is our second one. And well, we might as well use up the rest of these papers. So let's just do it. Just do it. Um, these would be cute if you have... Um, Little ones, you can make little journals for them, little Halloween journals, and they could write about Halloween or they could put little pictures in them. Um, they could draw little pictures. These would be great little little art journals. Um, just so much you can do with them. How else might you guys use them? Please, if you're popping in, please say hello. I'd love to know who's in here. Um, otherwise, I'm just talking to myself. So, Martha, do you have a specific fall craft you're going to be doing this weekend? It would be a great idea instead of candy. I love that idea, Luann. So she said if you don't have a lot of trick-or-treaters, these would be really cute. Or if you have special trick-or-treaters. So like if you have grandkids or nieces or nephews or something and you want to make a few of these for your trick-or-treaters, that would be a great idea. I love that idea. In fact, I might even do that for my nephew, my great nephews. Because the one, one of my great nephews has um, major allergies. Um, to all kinds of things. And I'm always afraid to like give him any candy or anything because I would feel horrible. His, his grandfather um, has twice now given him something that has caused him to have um, go into shock and he just feels horrible both times. So everybody's just so leery when we have him around because we're like, Oh my gosh, we don't want to do anything. That's going to cause any problems. Okay. So you guys, out of those strips, I was able to make three. So we made three and we have these 
just these two little strip, oops, these two little pieces left, which we can use on another one. Okay, awesome sauce. All right, where is my lid? Just working on your fall journal and your embellishments. Awesome. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we just want to grab some paper. And these, you guys, do not take much at all. So the thing I love about these journals is you can literally just, like, cut paper. So this is just regular composition paper. So um, I'm going to grab some music page. I have these music pages that are um, that I photocopied for some reason for a project. I don't even remember why I did that. Um, and We're going to use these and we're going to do that technique that I did last week where we um, use the Crayola markers and we do like a watercolor look because the back of them are kind of plain. So just stack those up. Remember, it's use up your scraps. So don't go and get other pages. Just get scraps that you have in your bin. Okay, so I have this really weird paper. I don't know if you guys can... Mm -hmm. Can you see those boxes that are in there? I don't know if you can. Um, this came from a copy shop. And it, I don't, can you kind of see it? They're, they're like these little gray, grayish boxes. And they came in between sheets. And they're supposed to be like to throw away. And I was like, absolutely not at work. Like, I'm taking those babies home because he's the copy guy was like, no, those are just to throw away. You're not supposed to use those. They have a watermark on them for, I'm like, oh, no, I'll take those home and do something with them. So, um, let's see, what else do I have a lot of here? Oh, let's see, let's see. Now, if you're putting book pages and things, please, please, please be very careful about what kind of book pages you're putting in if you're going to give these to kids, okay? Because sometimes there's book pages that are just not appropriate for kids. So please be careful about that. These are fine. Um, these are an old surveyor's guide. So we will use some of these. Actually, I think I'll use them all. Okay, I think we have enough to get us started. And I'm going to trim off the edges of this book because I don't want to get in trouble here. Where it's not. All right. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do is I need to figure out what sizes these pages need to be. Now, there's a million ways you could do it. I could actually measure it, but I, I'm not a big measure. And so I typically will just put a page inside and figure out, especially if I have like a piece of notebook paper. So see, I'm measuring it. And oh, look, if I cut off, I don't know if you guys can see that. If I cut off this bottom line, it should be just about the right size. So let's slide that in there and see how that works. Um, pretty close. So now I'm going to come in and I'm going to take a half off. I'll tell you what the actual measurement is, you guys, in just a minute. But I am just kind of winging it. And then I'm just going to fold that over. And that should fit perfect in there. Yep, it does. And it closes up. Okay, so you're going to need pieces of paper that are four and three quarters by six and a quarter. Four and three quarters by six and a quarter are your pages. So I'm just gonna pile my pages up. And we're gonna start cutting them. So. Oops, 
Betsy. You just double check again. Yep. I'm going to write that down so I don't forget. Because if I get talking, six and a quarter by four and three quarters. Once I get talking to you guys, hi, welcome from Virginia. Hi, Mitzi. Oh, Julie, you're really not that they're really not that late. I just did the cover, so you can go back and watch that, but it's really easy. Right now we're just cutting our pages. So, and then I got talking and I forgot the measurements. So that's why I have to write it down. So six and a quarter, we're just gonna we're just gonna start cutting some of these. Easy peasy. And then I'm going to do four and three quarters. Now, sometimes if I'm doing a lot of something, um, I will actually take a piece of tape and put it on my um, on my. Um, sorry, guys, I got things falling all over here. I'll, I'll just put a piece of tape down here and put a piece of tape here just so I don't have to keep checking um, and I can do it mindlessly, but you don't have to do that. And I just do that sometimes to keep myself straight. All right, so let's do this again. So we're at six and a quarter, lining it up straight. And I am keeping these little pieces because we will use them four and three quarters. Welcome, welcome. More people are coming on. Wonderful. Welcome, everybody. For those of you that are just joining us, we are just making some paper bag journals. They're perfect for your purses. Um, and Luann said these would be really cute for trick or treat if you don't, for an alternative instead of giving candy. I love that idea. Oops. And I cut that one too narrow, but that's okay. Cause remember junk journals can have narrower pages. See, I can't talk and cut you guys. I told you. Hi Thelma. Welcome. So four and three quarters wide. By six and a quarter are our pages. Okay. We're going to cut our book pages and then we'll go ahead and get started assembling these. I'm going to go this way. All right. Awesome. Hi, Sweet Drops. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have everybody in here. You guys, I used to do this every Sunday night and then Corona happened and life happened and I just couldn't get it together. So I am so happy to be back Sunday nights with you all showing you fun projects. Okay. So now what I do is I just take my papers and put them in a pile And we're just going to grab them art is definitely healing i'm so happy that you're getting back into arts and crafts um that's what this channel is all about is just healing and having fun and every sunday um giving you guys some quick tips so that you can work throughout the week and get some little projects done Sometimes big projects are just very daunting, especially this time of year and moving into Christmas because we're all so busy. Life just gets so busy and then people just stop doing crafts and we don't want to do that. We want to keep doing crafts. We want to keep letting art heal us, let art um, just really um, help us. All right. One, two. Okay, so there's five pages here, which when you fold them in half, that makes 20. I'm going to try that and see. And I like that it's not too thick. 
Um, so I'm going to keep that as a signature and we're going to fold some more and just go from there. Made a teeny tiny book today from a snack size candy box. Oh, Julie, I bet you that was so adorable. I've really been wanting to do a um, movie theater candy box journal. Um, I've seen people do them and I've just, I've never done one. And I always say I'm going to do one. Um, but I don't know about you guys. I have so many projects and never enough time to get them done. What else has everybody been working on? I bet you it is really cute, Julie. So I'm adding six pages to the signatures. Um, and we'll, we'll see. Remember, I have three journals. So I'm just trying to get my pages for for three journals. You guys, and we're, we're in this, you know, it's, it's been about 36 minutes since I started. Um, but if I wasn't jabbering, I could really get these done. But think about it. You know, if you did three little mini journals a night, just put them together um, each night. Just cut the pages and just cut the, and glue the covers and just stick them together. And then you just bound them on another night. I mean, literally by Saturday, you could have 10 mini journals done without a problem. Um, and you're only spending just a little bit of time each day working on something you love to do. You know, take the time. We never take enough time. And I will tell you, I know many of you know this, but life is short. Please do not wait um, until you're going to retire or until you're going to do this or you're going to do that. Um, I've learned from my mom. My mom has a disease called super, um, progressive supranuclear palsy. Um, hold on one second. Sorry, guys. One, two. And um, she and my father waited their whole life to retire so that they could do different things. And, and now she's limited in what she can do. Um, so, so don't wait, you know, do things while you can and enjoy those things. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages. We're going to do eight pages each. I think that's going to be plenty. Eight times four is 32 if I did my math right. Yeah, look at that's a that's a decent size, not too thick. And something you could also tuck in a journal. So I like that. I mean, you could do 10 pages if you wanted to. Um, but if you're going to do any embellishment, it's going to make it a little bit thicker. So that's why. I'm kind of being a little bit cautious about how many pages I'm using. Yeah, uh, baby doll, thank you. So she's not going to get any better, um, unfortunately. And unfortunately, she will, you know, pass away earlier than most people. Um, but she's she's living her life the best she can right now and and that's all we can ask for and we just continue to pray every day um if you don't know anything about the disease i i encourage you to look it up um because unfortunately there's so few people that have it that um there's not a lot of research out there there is no cure for it um and I, I say all the time, until I think a celebrity gets it, um, I don't think we're going to unfortunately have a cure or someone who's, you know, really, really popular. Um, okay, 
So there we go, you guys, there's three. So the next thing is, um, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, if you have a long stapler, you could go in and you could staple it. I don't actually, I think a regular stapler might even work. Let me see if I have a regular stapler. Um, I do. I just don't know where it is. It's not in here. I use that little one all the time. Um, but I really think a regular stapler would probably staple those and you could be done just like that. Um, but I'm going to just bind them because it doesn't take that long. Um, and so when you're binding, I just do three times the length of the spine um, when I'm doing little ones. If I'm doing larger ones, a lot of times I'll do three and a half um, because I like to have extra. So I'm just going to cut three of these strings so you can bind all three of them quickly. Woo! Yeah, I am going to invest in a long staple. I really want one. I just have not purchased one. I keep hoping that I'll come across one in a estate sale or in an art sale or something. And I just, I haven't, I just, I really need one. So if any of my families out there watching and you want to get a gift for me, a long stapler, a long reach stapler would be it. Cause I never buy one for myself. Okay. And so I just do these simple. Um, I mean, I don't even measure. I just kind of eyeball it in the middle and then I go about three quarters of an inch from the edge and I just use my, my tool, go through the middle, hold it with my thumb oops sorry guys there we go go all the way down to the end so I start at the top go all the way down to the end go up through the middle again but I go on the opposite side. So anybody brand new out there who's watching this, you wanna be on both sides of your thread. And I pull it a little bit tighter than probably you need to. So where it gets a little bit of a buckle. And the reason why I do that is because when you let loose to make that, that um, knot, a lot of times people get too loose of a binding. And that becomes problematic. So actually, as I'm talking to you, what do I do? I get too loose of a binding. So um, if you do that and you've already knotted it, just take your tool or your needle. If you're using wax linen, you can, you can get in there fairly quickly and fix that. If you do wait too long, the wax linen will seal itself and you'll have a harder time. All right, so I'm pulling tight. See how it's kind of buckling a little bit? And then I'm pulling that. Pulling that nice and tight and then we'll do another tight knot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip it. I'm going to leave them long for right now. Um, and I can always go back and clip them, but I will probably put some sort of dangle on them. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and use my bone folder. And, oh, good. I'm glad that's a good tip, Thelma. I'm going to use my bone folder. And then I'm going to use my bone folder again. And look at how cute this is. So here's. So you open it up, it has a little pocket right here, which we'll stop and do something with. You can put something right here, which we will, and then you have your little journal right here. Isn't that adorable? All right, and I'm gonna put a clip on it just to hold it shut for right now. All right, let's do the next one again. Like I said, we can do these quick as can be. So once again, I'm just gonna go close to the middle, about three quarters from each edge. Ooh, I moved my pages. Now, if you're just starting out, if you're brand new, 
to journaling and making journals, I recommend that you take and put a paper clip to clip your pages to your cover. Um, I've been doing this long enough, I just hold on to them. But you don't want your pages to slip, okay? Middle, hold it with your thumb. Go up the top or the bottom, whichever one, doesn't matter which one you do first. There I go, moving it away from my, pull it up. Go all the way to the bottom. Pull it again, pull it tight, go back up through the middle. Go on the opposite side where you went. Oh, come on, Rachel. Hang on, guys, I got to put my glasses on. There we go. Okay, so once again, I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to pull this tight and I'm going to get kind of a bow in my pages. Then I'm going to tie my first one tight, hold it, check my binding, make sure it's tight. It is. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to tie it again and one more time. Then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to leave it a little bit longer. Take my bone folder, and there we go. We're going to put our little page or little tails down to the bottom, and we have that one. So I'll go ahead and just clip it with this one. Last one. Yeah, the extra large paper clips are wonderful, especially when you're doing large journals. Um, they're wonderful to do. So I am challenging you all to find some paper bags this week. Or if you don't have paper bags, that's fine. And you don't have any, and you don't want to go out and get any, that's fine. Then go out and cut a piece of paper that's about the size of a paper bag and make these little tri-fold journals. And these little mini journals are perfect to stuff inside pockets, inside your big journals. And they will use up so many scraps. I need to adjust this a little bit. Oops. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to get out my corner rounder. This would be a fun craft to do with your girlfriends, too. This would be a great girls' night in project. Grab your favorite drink, wine, pop, whatever that is, and make these cute little, and you could even, um, they could be little thankful journals. They could be um, memory journals. They could be, you know, fall memories. You could have Put your girl's weekend in it. You could do a lot of different things. Mini vacations. Absolutely. Those are all great ideas. Okay, let me get this junk out of the way, guys, and then we'll move on to the next piece here. Let me grab a drink. Hostess gifts. I love that idea, Julie. Wouldn't that be so cute? Well, and I'll tell you, I have... I picked up these little tea bags because I thought they looked like fall. And you could even put a little pocket on the inside. You could even put a little tiny pocket on the inside of here and slip a little tea bag in. And wouldn't that be a great little hostess gift to give somebody? Isn't that adorable? I love that idea. You could slip a gift card in there. This would be a great little gift as you're thinking about a little gift card or something like that. Oops. I think this is that first one I made that I had a heck of a time 
know why that didn't line up. And of course it would be on the striped paper. I hate striped paper for that reason. If you don't get it lined up, then it looks a little wonky. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do I'm going to get this going the right way. Sorry, guys. Okay, so this is the front. The next thing we're going to want to do is start doing some embellishing on the front. Oh, but before we do that, I want to grab my quarter corner chomper. And I'm going to use my eighth inch. And I could have done this first. In fact, I probably should have, but I didn't. Oh, and it wants to act up. What is going on? There we go. So I'm just going to round my corners. And if you have different sizes, like this one is a little bit smaller, just grab it and chomp it. Like I said, it's not something you have to do, but it does make it look a little more finished when it has those corners done. All right. And probably in hindsight, I will do it beforehand next time so that I don't have to go back and do it like this. But, you know, live and learn. Oh, you know what, you guys? I, for a long time, I bought different corner rounders. And I finally invested in the Crocodile Corner Chomper. It was the best investment I've ever made. I have been through, I'm not kidding you, in my craft crafting time, I've probably been through seven corner rounders because I do so much crafting and make so many journals. I've had this for about four years. It's still sharp as can be. Um, never had any issues. If I would have just bought this in the first place instead of trying to be cheap and buy a cheap one, it would have saved me a whole lot more money whole lot more money. Highly recommend it. It is a must have tool. And you can do chipboard like I've done chipboard with this. Um, I have done all kinds of things. Okay. So see, isn't that cute? I like just a little bit of a, a the corners rounded. I just think that looks adorable. You do want to really make sure you burnish it down. Okay. And see, now that I keep burnishing it, it, it pretty much stays closed. I mean, we totally can put a closure around it, but it, it stays pretty darn closed if we do it like that. Okay, let's see here. In just one second. Oh, hi, Julie. Julie's watching. Hi, Julie. My friend Julie's here, and she's just gotten into junk journaling. Um, Julie, if you don't have an account, you're probably not able to, to chat with us, but awesome. I'm so glad you're here with us. Okay, so I feel like I need a pocket in here but before I do that I want to put a little band right here so we can tuck stuff in it so remember we had these little these little spare pieces these are going to be great for pockets in fact you guys know I love this little polka dotted one so I'm going to trim it a little bit And we are going to make pockets. You guys, these would be great. If you have a church group, these would be great. Um, look at, we just made this cute little pocket. I'm so excited. Okay. 
Um, these would be great for a church group to make little minutes. They could be little Bible journals. Um, oh, Lord, Rachel, there you go, making a mess. Yeah, you guys, we're going to taint her into making. Um, she's a fellow painter like I am, but she just got into making journals. So, Julie, you're going to have to get a... Um, a Facebook, or I mean, a YouTube account so you can talk to us when we're doing this scrappy Sundays. All right. There, we just put a cute little pocket in there. And that little pocket would be able to hold this when it's dry. It, it should be able to hold my little, my little tea bag if I want it to. So we're going to let that dry. That's on the inside. I feel like I want to put something right here too. Oh, my daughter, I just saw she came home, you guys. Let's cross our fingers. Let's cross our fingers. Please, 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 that she was able to find what I was looking for. Okay, so we're going to do that little trick we did last week. And I'm grabbing my washable markers. And I want to stick with the colors that we used today. So I'm grabbing some orange. We're going to grab just a little bit of brown. You've never made a journal? Oh, don't be scared. It is so fun. We're going to do some green. Add some green. You know what, sweet drops? Make one of these. This is how you start. You start with these first. We're going to add just a smidge of red in here, even though I know I didn't use red. I want to use a little bit of red because to me, that's fall colors. Okay, so I'm going to grab my spritzer. Just a second. Where did I put it? Where did my little spritzer go? Oh, my desk is such a mess, you guys. Oh, okay. So we're going to spray this. How were you able to find them for me? I'm still online. All right. So when you do this, you want to add quite a bit of water. You want it to be pretty. And these are just Crayola. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go on the back. Oh, I want to go on the front side of this. So I'm just going to touch and pull. And touch and pull. And leave that just like that. Gonna touch and pull, touch and pull. These would make great tags. These will make great, we're going to use these for little tuck spots. Hey, Hal, were you able to find those stickers? Sorry, she's I hear her talking to my husband. She went down to the other end of the house. So I apologize. Let's we'll see what she comes up with. Okay, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love these. Look at. And we're going to be able to make a little tuck spot with these. See, we can make a little pocket and it'll tuck right in there. So I'm going to just trim the top a little bit. We want it to fit in. Okay, that looks pretty good. And because this is going to be a pocket, I am going to just back it onto here. You don't have to do that, but this is really flimsy paper. And so I want to make sure that I'm not going to have any problems. Hey, Hallie, were you able to find that for me? Huh? Okay, well, I'm live. I wanted to show the ladies what we came up with. Okay, Ugh, here they are, you guys. Yeah, 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 I can't wait to show you. Okay, we're gonna use those on our journal. Okay, thank you, Hal. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna trim this. All right. And we're gonna add this right here 
to our journal. And I'm also going to corner, corner round this. And we're going to have this cute little tuck. And I'm going to glue it here and here. I'm not going to glue it on the top because I want it to be able to go in there. Thank you guys so much for encouraging our newbies. I greatly appreciate that. All right, so I added just a little bit of glue. All right, I have to show you these. Okay, these came from Target. There's 278 of them for five bucks. But they are so stinking cute, you guys. Look at these. Acorns. Let me just pull out some. Yeah, it, the corner rounder makes such a huge difference. Look at these cute little fall pieces. Aren't these adorable? This one says hello fall. I think that should be on the front, don't you? Yes, these are in Target. Spritz, they're the sticker buckets. They're $5 for 260 and they're like chipboard, you guys. Look at all these. These are going to make so many fun fall projects. Look at the little mushroom. Oh, I love it. Isn't that cute? So we're going to use these in here. All right. See, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I have these cute little leaves. I think we should put some of these leaves on here. Let's see what we have. Oh my gosh, I'm making a bigger mess on my desk, you guys. I think that little gold leaf, what do you think? Um, you find these in, these you will find in the, um, like the stationery in the craft department, but it should be right on an end cap. Um, you can order them online too. I did see where you could order them online. I don't know which one do you guys like. Do you like the orange one or the gold one? Which one? Oh, I'm sorry. They're so far from you. They say they're stickers, but they look like chipboard to me. Nope, they are stickers. Nope, they are definitely stickers, but they're chipboard. The orange one, that's what I was thinking. All right, we're going to put the orange one down. So cute. So cute. All right. And we made little tags last week in mine. And look at that little tag fits right in there. It's perfect. Okay, let's decorate the front page. So I'm going to grab some vintage music paper that has some actual writing on it. So So we've got some vintage music paper. Let me get my anchor. I know, aren't these cute? I saw another YouTuber using these and I was like, I have to have those. Because what I want to do is take these and put these on my, make little tea bag holders and, and put these on for my teachers. And so... All right, so there is that. I do need another piece of paper to put underneath there. So I am going to look for, you know what? We could use, we could use this. 
This is that survey book. That's those scraps that I had left. I'm going to go ahead and add those. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put those down. I like the crinkly sound too. They're fun, aren't they? Oh, goodness, look what I just did. I ripped it. It's what I get for watching the screen instead of paying attention here. That's okay. Sorry, my daughter and my husband are laughing. The ladies can hear you. I can't see. Oh, yeah, that looks interesting. <laughs> So my daughter has her first job and she had to go get her first um, polo shirt and um, dress pants. And so those of you that have been around teenagers know that especially they pretty much just wear like leggings and T-shirts and whatever. So it's going to be very interesting. <laughs> All right. So I've layered that on. Now, the other thing that's going to be fun is you can get your punches out. I don't know if I have a, I don't think this will work. Let me see. Oh, yeah, well. So we're punching out a piece of that paper. And then I am going to find... Oh, that's a little busy. You know what? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I need something else, you guys. I can't figure out what it is. Oh, let me think. Let me think here for a minute. Um, I don't like this with just this. Well, unless maybe I put it down there. I feel like it needs something else. Oh, cheesecloth. Great idea. Let me see if I have my cheesecloth in a place I can easily grab it. If not, I'm sure I can find some sort of fiber. Let's see here. Sorry for the noise, you guys. Oh, yeah, here we go. I found my cheesecloth. Great idea, you guys. See, that's why I love crafting with you guys on Sunday nights, because you guys have such fun ideas. Okay. So. This is another product that is so fun to work with, cheesecloth. You can get it at the grocery store. You do not need a lot of it. And here's another fun thing, you guys. You can color it. You can spray it with inks. In fact, we're going to make a complete and utter mess of things. I'm using a little bit. Yeah, you can coffee dye it I'm using a little bit of vintage photo distress ink. Oh, and my water doesn't want to come out. Adding just a little bit of water to it. It's probably going to 
And I'm doing that because I want it to be a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to dip it in there. Just like that. Okay. Clean up my mess. Then I'm going to unfold it. Yep, I told you guys I'm making a complete and utter mess. We're going to grab our hair dryer. Oh, really, baby doll? You don't have much at your local Dollar Tree? Ours has a ton of stuff. Um, it's getting more and more each day, too, which is kind of nice. Um, if you have acrylic paint, you can water down acrylic paints, too, and um, dye your cheesecloth. So that's another way you can... The name of the container stickers is Sprit. Um, you can get them on, you can get them and have them delivered um, from, ooh, from Target. I actually was gonna order them, but I saw my local Target had them. So I went ahead and just got them, had my daughter get them locally. But you can order them online. Okay. So here's my cheesecloth. <laughs> yeah, I always have a mess. It's our artistic brains. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of doubling us up a little bit because I really want more of the thread look. The other thing is if you don't have cheesecloth and you have um, thread, you can also, so this is a fun way to do things too. You can make a thread nest. If you guys have never, I know I have some newbies on here. So I'm sorry, you guys, I'm kind of all over tonight, but I wanted to, I know I have some newbies on here. So you can just take and just unwind a bunch of thread. And I love to do this with vintage thread rolls vintage thread that I get at garage sales or um, estate sales because they're not really good for sewing with and you can make a thread nest you just kind of wad it all up roll it up you can add it to it and then put your little piece over top so you can do that as well so you can do either one cheesecloth thread nest We might even do both. Look at that. We could do both. What do you think? Should I do both or should I do just the cheesecloth? I kind of like it with both, you guys. I kind of like the brown behind it. I love both too, Luann. I think I'm going to do it. All right. Here we go. Can't go back now. So we're going to kind of just put this down how we want it. And then I'm going to put my thread nest right on top. And it's sticking to my fingers. Yeah, look up fall sprit stickers in Target. I mean, yeah, Target, and you, you'll find them. And because I'm putting this over fiber, I am going to put glue on it. But I did take the sticky back off of it. Did I take this? I didn't take the sticky back off this one. Darn it. Rachel. Ugh. I have a mess. I'm a mess tonight, guys. I guess I shouldn't even have got on because I can't keep my thoughts straight. Ah! If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please don't judge me today. Today, I'm, I guess I need to go to bed. <laughs> Having a heck of a time here. All right. So we're going to add that right there. And I still might go up here and put something. I just feel like it needs something. So when all else fails, those of you that have been watching my channel for a while 
know that I love to just add a little tiny bit of bling to bring the eye up to the top. So there we go. This is our cute little journal. Isn't that adorable? And then you can make a closure to finish it up. Let me grab some. I'm going to grab some twine, I think. Oh, let's see here. Sorry for the noise again, guys. I'm digging. Okay. I have some of this orange twine. I've had this for a long time. I had it from a card making class. All right, and then what I like to do, is we're just going to sneak this in here and we're going to loop it mm -hmm. I don't like that sorry guys new plan new plan new plan all right. Let's see here. I totally did not expect this to be this long of a video, so I apologize, you guys. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm just poking a little hole there because I wanna feed my, ribbon through there, or my twine, sorry, not my ribbon, my twine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my ends are lined up. And I will adjust this. All right. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to just put a knot in here. Just like that. And now we can wrap this around. Oops, we have to go this way. Just like that. And we can tie it in a bow. And we have this cute little fall journal. Now I will go in and probably do more embellishing. My fingers aren't working, so I can't even make a bow. Goodness gracious. There we go. What do you guys think? You are welcome. I hope you guys try these this week. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And remember, you can do all kinds of things. I mean, you can put pockets. We had all those little pieces left over from when we were cutting. You know, you can do 
You can do tucks, you can do pockets, you can do all kinds of fun, fun things. You can do taps, you can do all kinds of things. So I'm going to spend some time um, embellishing these. Maybe I'll embellish them next week while we're together. Um, but I'm going to spend the week making these little mini journals. Um, I hope everybody has a great week. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Please, if you have, um, have not subscribed, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Um, please share the channel, um, share the video that helps more people find us. Um, Sunday, we'll do another video using up scraps. But really, your challenge this week, you guys, is to please make sure that you continue to let art heal. Let art be part of your life and use up those scraps and supplies that you have in your possession. Don't go out and buy things. I know it's really tempting because these are adorable, but you don't have to go out and buy things, you guys. You can just go dig through your scraps, cut some um, leaves out of paper. You can type Hello Fall. You can find things online and print them. There's lots of things you can do. You know, and as I said, you can wrap this up, have it ready to give to a friend or give to somebody special. Whoops. And I could even, I just thought about this. I tied this up like this. Fingers are not working tonight, you guys. Tie it in a cute little bow, just like that. Grab that little tea bag, stick it in the back. To a little friend to a friend isn't that great if you have um a, a kid you could stick a little pencil behind there you could put a little candy behind there um you could put a little hot chocolate packet anything and just give this to somebody even a little um spiced cider would be cute have a great day everybody i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next week